over. Oh good, those power sources do sell for a decent amount, don't they? I know, I know, they're worth a fair old whack. But unfortunately, due to our in various incompetences, we need the money to hire new people. Alright, well we've nearly finished with our satellite uplinks. Ah, we can build more carapace armor, and this time we might equip people with it. Alright, that should hopefully help turn the tide. Oh dear, oh dear. Let's open the window. Let out the dead. And turn the light on. Spitfire Armitage. I'm afraid that is not going to be your nickname. It is going to be Shadow Runner. Oh, no, no, just Shadow Rune. Shadow Run. So, Sergeant Armitage is currently our man of the hour. Oh, and Marvel Owner got promoted as well. Um, covering fire. Yes, we definitely need some more soldiers. I'm guessing Germany must love us. Power generator complete. We can't really construct anything now because yeah. <laughs> Access list operational. Hurry on. Oh, okay. As frightening and vicious as this species is on the battlefield, it is hard not to feel some sympathy for them on the dissection table. A specimen has been subjected to extensive biome biomedical modifications, some of which were undoubtedly quite painful and intrusive. The combination of living tissue and mechanical components gives the creature the look of a cruel, half-finished experiment. Most of the subject's internal organs have been replaced with a mechanical life support system that mimics their original functionality. A rather conventional propulsion system has been grafted onto the subject torso, although the power cells supplying the necessary thrusts are extremely advanced by our own standard. I removed a number of neural implants from the subject that appear to aid in the evasion of the incoming projectile fire. Okay. Activate this module during interception to provide an immediate temporary boost to our unit's evasive ability. The matrix will burn out. Okay. Let's do an autopsy on the Thin Man as well, while we're here. The Tall One has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Why do we leave it suit on when we con uh, conducted the autopsy? Uh, that is my question. Uh, well, we do have some new soldiers, actually, so let's have a look in the barracks. Well, welcome aboard. Uh, this is going to be the new YouTuber Quad Turbo 4. A strange lady, increasingly paranoid about being shot in the back. And then we have Erin White, also known as Molly McGuire, uh, obviously of Irish heritage, a constant drunk and poor racial stereotype, were she Irish, but she's not. Uh, then again, I suppose it is said that the Australians drink a lot too. Request from Nigeria. What? Numerous UFOs have been spotted streaking over the skies of Nigeria in con 
concern for their citizens. So, since they don't have satellite technology that can track the aliens like we do, they're offering a substantial amount of assistance to our efforts if we help police their airspace. We don't have any. Alright, not now. We will have one. Subject's external appearance is that of a Caucasian male, I would guess. It's age to be approximately 35 years old, etc, etc. Oh, okay. So, this, this venom could be used as a disinfectant. Alright, let's go for Arc Thrower now. I've always thought of science as a way to improve our everyday lives, to answer the long-standing questions of scientific history. Well, bully for you. And we have another satellite uplink now, which means hopefully soon we should be able to stick this satellite over Nigeria. Or do we actually have to donate a satellite? Satellite uplink complete. All right. Breaking news at this hour. Ah, we have our terror mission again. All right, we know this cutscene. It's in Paris. Okay, they well, Lille rather. So this could actually work to our benefit. As oh shit, it's very difficult. All right. We know there are going to be chrysalids here, metagaming. So frag grenades are probably quite useful. I'm not sure. This new body armor was developed using what we've learned from the alloys employed in the alien ship. It should prove to be both lighter and stronger than anything we've used in the past. Well done flexing there, world heavyweight champion Marvel owner. You're all going to be equipped with these things. Yes, usually I would, of course, give you medikits. Usually I would. But, chrysalids like to get up close. And we cannot allow that to happen. Because chrysalids are the enemy unknown version of tentaculants. And of course, the. Um, from Terror from the Deep. And of course, the enemy unknown version of chrysalids that were once in. Uh, enemy unknown. But my point is, once they get on you, they turn you into a zombie that will then turn into a further chrysalid. Keeping them with shotguns, is that a risk worth taking? Or is it worth just giving them... ...the assault rifle instead? Because one thing we want to do is actually... ...be able to fire from a distance. Alright. It's a, it's a sausage fest, this mission. Good luck, everyone. We've got the best damn armor that will do absolutely fuck all against the Chrysalid's melee attacks. Touching down. France is sending an urgent mission request. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in the... Alright. Thing we need to consider. Pay less attention to civilians and more attention to just killing aliens. Whatever happens, as long as all the aliens are dead, the panic rating will go down. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position. Alright, no civilians in our immediate vicinity. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is yeah. to protect those civilians. Yeah, we're we're overwatching again.
God, it's terrible, isn't it? Sounds awful what's going on out there, but... Really, it can't be helped. At least we have lots of rockets. Got two. Alright, now let's wait for the civilians to start dying. Alright, that one's quite a way away. Any more? No. Well, that was an interesting manoeuvre, Jake. Thank you for that. And speed is not just what we need here. I'm looking out for my men just as much as I'm looking out for civilians. Okay. That. Worrying. What we really need out of this is another sniper, but as all of us are already at, uh. uh progressing up our skill trees, such as they are. That ain't gonna happen. All right, there they are. I hope we had of establishing a clear pattern of behavior among the alien species. This specimen is nothing like the others. Seems like they've got one of everything. Oh. Fuck. Alright, I mean, it's too damaged to it. Sorry, if they're moving in the same direction, we'll fire rockets at it. I don't care if it's near civilians or not. I'm not having any more chrysalids on this map. Oh, shit. Now, floaters I can deal with. Right, as insane as it sounds, I think the first thing we need. Ah, I didn't realise there was a bloody civilian there. Cock. Otherwise, I would have thrown a grenade. Oh, not that. It, not that it matters as much. I will admit. Jake could run up to here and shoot this thing point blank. Tetsubo. Could fire rockets at that one. Oh, well, yeah, let's be honest. The better shot here is on this chrysalid. So let, let's actually fire this rocket first. We killed a civilian, but that's okay. I know that doesn't sound okay, but it is. And Jeff Garrison really needs to kill this one. Well, I suppose he could with a grenade. If we take run and gun, and everyone else moves up to it and just guns it down. Who else do we have nearby? Sixty-three percent chance to hit. Sixty-three percent. That's not quite good enough, really, is it? So yeah, we've got one more person with a rocket launcher. We've got Jake Armitage who could run straight up to it and deal some nasty damage. Let's rock. But and we do up to four damage on it. We need to hit it at least twice, and really we need to get that bomb with the rocket, with 
Lori's rocket launcher. It's a waste. It is a waste. But at the same time, it's a chrysalid. I'm going to have to trust everyone else. I know, I'm ignoring the floater right now, which may well be a mistake. Could throw the grenade here, it would kill the civilian. The floater could kill the civilian on the next turn. Alright. Armitage. Armitage has apparently already taken his turn. When did he do that? What did he do? Hmm. Alright. Well, fair enough. Alright, Garrison. I'm going to suggest running and gunning. Running right up to that chrysalid. Good luck. Shut him up, knock him down. It's a dumb move. Hostiles pacified. Feel free to attack civilians. Oh shit! Yeah, I can live with that. Let's get one civilian out of here. You're safe now. Go, go, go. Yeah, I didn't think it likely. Oh, shot wide. You're clear. Go. Run away. Run away now, you bastard. Damn it, it didn't increase any bloody accuracy. That's alright, so... See you in Silicon Hell. Alright, and now the floater is going to take a shot at us, I feel. Yep. Oh no, no, he's killed us another civilian. It's okay. People of France will understand. We did what we had to do. Sort through without exemption. Move your ass, you're safe. Get your ass to Mars. A guaranteed kill, if nothing else. Um, 
No, actually, I'm going to spend the time reloading. Ready to engage. I'm going to hope there aren't any more bloody chrysalids on this mission. I'm ready. Because I really, ready I don't, I don't have the ordnance to deal with them. Traffic in France is terrible, isn't it? I'm ready. Glory, here you are the bait. It doesn't sound like that's all right. Floaters, dead ahead. Well, thank you for trying, Tetsubo. Now see how the pros do. All right. Failed to connect. Oh, let me see your war face. They got me flanked. Not flanks, Lori. I think what you actually mean is you got them fucked. Oh, well, owner, I need you to take, shall we say, a leap of faith. Let's go for the full damage. Hopefully, who do we have here that can run and gun? Anyone who can get close enough? Yes, we do. Going in for the kill. Go on, Shadow Run. Everything by the numbers. Phew. Okay. I have to admit, my uh, my panic levels may <laughs> may have gone up. A few pro promotions there. Well done, Lieutenant Armitage. Fire shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. Hmm. Or oh, rapid fire. Take two shots against a single target in quick succession. Each shot carries a minus 15% aim. I quite like the idea of getting things to run out of cover. Tetsubo. Hollow targeting. Seems to have helped in the past. Plus five defense still. Alright, you can if I had to go for that one. Marvelona, you are our field medic. Panic in front Hey! Panic is decreased across all of I'm sure the troops Europe. will be eager to get out there and even up the body count. Uh, well, to be fair, I think we did quite well, unless you're actually referring to uh, the alien troops. I wonder what we could actually sell at this point. Hmm. Lyrium. I know. A 
our worst suspicions may have been true after all. They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Now what? Hmm. Oh, I've heard that you can get a sort of network of power generators in a square, so we could do that from here and build, finally build our alien containment. Or even a work... Oh, we've got a workshop. Ha ha ha. What does building a workshop do? It has five engineers to the staff. Good. But we do need alien containment. What can we build and buy now? More abductions already. We're several urgent requests for assistance. Go there are abductions in progress down, at each marked site on the Hologlobe. 